Hello and welcome back to another episode of Long War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing XCOM Long War of the Chosen Legendary Iron Man. Time to get our sixth engineer and hopefully continue the liberation chain. This will be a difficult mission as we fight against sealed armor and vigilance. So no um, jumping up on them. Uh, we got the second half of the Grey Knights though, Durangs, uh, 8.5, Synapse and Rust, so I am cautiously optimistic that that will get going and that we're being successful. Let's see. Hmm, that's a long shot, but we got 16 rounds, so that's fine as well. Drank's going to be our scout. I don't, I don't want to risk going to the edge and then spotting something out. High ground, steady our weapon. Moving overwatch. I have to wonder, I think we can cross the bridge here. Hmm. No Let's use the teamwork. Scout out and push a little bit further so that we have a chance to pull back if needed. Okay, nothing there. On the move. Hmm. I'll stick with the sniper, although 15 turns. Now's a good time to actually start moving up okay push it very well i don't understand where the enemies are from now on we need to move much much more careful i assume all of the enemies are around uh, the ao Good. Steady weapon. Got it covered. Overwatch. And a lot of overwatches. Are they down here? No. They must be upstairs. It's strange, by now we should have managed to run into enemies. So close to the exit. We've unfortunately already moved, so for starters, fortify. And then let's hope that this somehow hits. It's very well, if you ask me. I 
Now we need to get to the sniper, the Naja is the problem. Fortifying also here. Let's stun it. Very good, because uh, that's the enemy sniper and I don't appreciate being sniped as you can uh, as you can think as you might guess no problem, boss. On Overwatch. twelve and that is eight two four Six, eight, ten. Now we'll take this and see that we can get him down. Nice little dead eye. Good shot. of a problem downstairs I don't really have the right person to trigger that if we push massively forward we might trigger other packs but I want full cover and a bit more proximity to the Naja good sniper taken care of that's good that's very good Moving up, our sniper. That's bad aiming. A uh, bad aiming angle. He's actually in a good spot. This year, all things considered, would be a fantastic aiming angle. left out by myself I'm all over. so we're moving to here more overwatch in case uh, the advent from downstairs is coming back up we would be ready to take him next turn reinforcements where is uh, that is the way up So making sure okay, I'll go. that everybody is uh, getting close to there. Sniper double moves. Overwatch, Overwatch and Overwatch for reinforcements. Uh, it would have been great if they would have dropped on to low ground because then we wouldn't have needed to, to deal with them. Come on. That's my boy. Yeah, unfortunately, overwatch shots uh, with the pump gun are not necessarily the best. Good, we know another pack is there. Ok, 
Get him down. Good, very good. Continuing to move up. Well, we got a nice Lalarium core. And two Advent groups. Big fat concussion rocket. Takes out three immediately. No problem, We're moving forward. And let's take out this Advent Officer. Not happening, but at least he's disoriented. And we're overwatching. Whoever comes closer and is not taken out needs to pay the price for that. Almost. I mean, what we could do is reload and area suppress them. I'm going. I'm ready. One, two, three. Four. That's fantastic. Everybody gets suppressed. To be honest, we can't really do much here. Might as well just run. Moves into full cover. And another overwatch, just so that they don't even, uh, that they don't only have one target. The concussion um, rocket wasn't that bad. It was actually quite decent. Granted, they now do have a lot of uh, good cover as well. But overall speaking, it was actually quite, quite good. And I think we can get out of here. What a strange mission. We kind of moved our way around the very southern edge of the map and then when we were pushing in, of course uh, the packs were like super clustered. 
Could we have won against them? Yes, definitely. Maybe even in time. But it was easier to simply go for the exit. Okay, uh, with new staffing opportunities, again, I'm wondering what we want to do. I would say for now we're excavating further. Once we get that, we need to build more power and then it's shadow chamber and, and uh, defense matrix. Okay, so continue building the radio relay. And continue training our shinobis because they are going to be the leaders of the uh, of this campaign as in the officers two days 11 hours I mean it's full salvage but I'm not very keen on doing 50 plus enemies. Let's say we have a normal team. Imperial Fists, for instance. Yeah, nah. Not happening. Our training pays off, we're almost through all of the shinobis with their training. Equally our Psy operatives are very very much on track with their training. 7 days. Smash and grab mission high level of psionic enemies wow whoa nice lovely I would like to use the Grey Knights for a bit of a more difficult mission this one here relatively speaking is easy these guys still need a bit more time so <clears throat> this could be a trainings mission for our newcomers select the SWAT get our second spark in and let me fix this real quick okay we barely brought it to 101% of infiltration value. If we pull this one off, everybody will get a promotion in their ataxia. Uh, we'll sponsor them another promotion. Fabulous. So we got the Imperial Fists for a smash and grab, Blood Angels here, Ultramarines and Grey Knights. Sounds like a plan. Continuing to do a relay. You had to expect I come to your friends eventually, Commander. Hmm. I can't have them out there. Unfortunate. And unhindered operations protect the device. So that is exactly why we needed extra people. Can't let them down.
and after this mission I think we even have a recruit cool 75 oh boy you are so going to be either a gunner or a sniper good sniper with 75 or a gunner actually not a bad gunner at all okay so whom could we send for the data tab for starters yeah let's do it in a different way that way we're not wasting time There we go, South Africa, very good. So next up, if we're looking at our defenders, we got a gunner, sharpshooter. So that's the gray, a gray knight team, right? Very much so. I think the easier way to look at it is almost like this. Gray knight team got a full team available and then a couple of space wolves plus on top of that we do have a spark which I can finally bring then not the psi operatives they should continue training but divot here is ready and could get experience that's good that is very good and wrong planet and beta are uh, i think also available so there's quite a bit of availability yeah we have yeah we have plenty of people we could we even have so many that we can do that and an additional mission and we still would be fine all right that brings us to the end of today's episode i'll um, get the mission set up for the next time Thank you for watching guys, I appreciate your viewership. If you like Long War of the Chosen, feel free to leave a comment and a like down below. That always helps the playthroughs, you know how it is. And uh, see you in the next episode. Bye bye.